choose you! Hi, I'm Professor Silver, and today I'll run through the history of Ash's Snivy, detailing her journey from an arrogant loner into one of Ash's coolest grass types. Snivy debuted in the episode Snivy Plays Hard to Get shortly after Ash got his first Unova badge. During the episode, it was revealed that Snivy had abandoned her original trainer because she found said trainer unworthy of her abilities. Rather than travel with a novice like many others of her species did, she chose to live in the wild and steal food from unsuspecting trainers like Ash. Ash didn't care at all that Snivy was a thief, as he desperately wanted to catch her. Like any good trainer would, he saw within Snivy the potential for a major powerhouse. After his Pokeball failed to take hold, however, he discovered that the grass type's immense power far surpassed that of his other Pokemon. Unlike Oshawott and Tepig, Snivy knew many high-level moves like Leaf Storm and Leaf Blade. Furthermore, her beatdown of Pikachu was so intense that Ash was forced to come to the mouse's aid. Snivy admired Ash's willingness to sacrifice himself in order to protect his Pokemon, but still ran away at fight's end. Beyond her formidable strength, Ash was drawn to Snivy because of her cool, calm, and crafty nature. All that and her relentless gumption excited Ash so he tracked her down with the help of the Dove. Even though Oshawott and Tepig both floundered against Snivy's attract move, the battles deeply bolstered Snivy's respect for Ash. Whilst battling Tepig, for instance, she couldn't help but smile at Ash's childlike love for battling. Attract repelled Ash's male Pokemon, but had no effect on his female Padov. During Padov's battle with Snivy, she shrugged off Attract and unleashed Carnage with moves like Gust, Quick Attack, and Air Cutter. Despite Snivy's initial resistance, Ash eventually managed to catch her. After her capture, Snivy frequently appeared as the coolest member of Ash's Unova team. Whenever she appeared off the battlefield, she carried herself with dignity and grace. While Snivy was often arrogant about her abilities, she still trusted in Ash Ash's guidance and did whatever she could to support her friends. All in all, she was a worthy successor to Torterra. She excelled in both personality and combat prowess. Early on in the Unova saga, it seemed entirely clear that Snivy was being set up as Ash's regional ace. In her battle against Trip Servine in a rival battle for Club Champ, for example, she emerged victorious using Attract, Vine Whip, and Leaf Blade. Out of all five of Ash's Pokemon that battled, only Snivy and Pikachu were able to eke out a win. Sadly, Snivy's fighting abilities were often marred by Ash's Ash's lack of skill in black and white. During her very next battle in that very same episode, she fell to Trip's frillish as Ash didn't realize that Curse Body disabled physical moves. As the saga continued, Ash's incompetence as a trainer would hinder Snivy's overall potential. After falling to frillish, Snivy failed to beat a wild Mancino in Mancino Neat and Tidy. Like before, the lack of victory can be blamed on Ash. In spite of Snivy's own knowledge of the move, Ash had no idea how to overcome a tract. Nevertheless, Snivy proved her superiority to Ash's other Unova Pokemon by excelling in battles thereafter. As examples of her impressive power, she played a crucial role in saving Scraggy from Galvantula and Scraggy Hatched to be Wild, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Gothitelle in the Lost World of Gothitelle, and utterly dominated Bianca's Pignite in Amolga in the new Volt Switch. Although Trip Servine got the better of Snivy in Ash and Trip's third battle, she would go on to reveal her untapped potential at the Battle Club. Her battle there with George's Ponyard unfolded across the episode Silent vs. Trip, Ash vs. Georgia, and the club battle Hearts of Fury, Emolga vs. Sock. To kick things off, Ponyard tore through Leaf Storm, landed Metal Claw, and shrugged off a tract. In response, Snivy dodged Iron Head, inflicted heavy injury, let loose Vine Whip, used Leaf Blade, and evaded Guillotine. She found herself in a tight spot thereafter, but eventually won the battle with Leaf Storm. The win was extra noteworthy because Burgundy had previously belittled both Snivy's aroma and her eye shape in the episode of Connoisseur's Revenge. Beyond battling, Snivy was a regular fixture in Ash's Unova adventures. As examples of her helpful appearances, she rescued Axew from a wild Scrafty and Meowth Scrafty tactics, helped her friends escape from Team Rocket in Battle for the Underground, bonded with Oshawott and Tepig in battling the Buffalant, and feuded with Iris's Amolga in almost every episode they interacted with each other. Initially, Amolga's laziness, gluttony, and scheming rubbed Snivy the wrong way. Snivy befriended Amolga after they teamed up against Simisir and Amolga in the new Volt Switch, but the two of them still bickered in facing fear with eyes wide open and movie time, Zorua and the Legend of the Pokemon Knight. Snivy's distaste for Amolga may have only 
only intensified after her defeat at the paws of Elisa's Amolga in Dazzling the Nimbasa Gym. During the battle, Snivy lost to Acrobatics and Aerial Ace. Because Snivy never stayed down long, she bounced back from the battle by training with Maractus in a Maractus musical. She also battled the forces of nature in stopping the Rage of Legends. She faced little issue in protecting Scraggy from Garboder and then defeating Gothita in Scraggy and the Demanding Gothita. During the battle with the Tiny Diva, Snivy dodged Psyshock, blocked Hidden Power, traded Vine Whip for Double Slap, landed Leaf Blade, and won with Leaf Storm. By winning the battle, she not only showcased her battling skills, but also ensured that Scraggy wouldn't be forced to live life with Gothita. Following her win against Gothita, Snivy battled Clay's Palpitoad in battling the King of the Mines. She won the showdown using all four of her moves, but then struggled against the gym leader's Excadrill. Excadrill repelled Vine Whip, cancelled out Attract, trudged through Leaf Storm, and claimed victory with Horn Drill. After the gym battle, Snivy saved Amolga from a gusty wind in battling the Leaf Thieves, and helped Tepig reckon with his traumatic past in Evolution by Fire. She couldn't stand to see Tepig get abused by his old trainer Seamus, so she joined forces with him when Seamus refused to apologize. To snap Tepig out of his funk and help him beat his old trainer, Snivy protected him from all the attacks used by Seamus's Embor and Heatmore. Although her defense of Tepig led to her fiery demise, it also led Tepig to both evolve and win the match with newly learned Fire Pledge. Ironically, by helping Tepig evolve, Snivy doomed her chances of ever being an ace. That's because she herself never evolved beyond her base stage. The writers didn't explain why she didn't evolve, but I think it's because she didn't think she needed to evolve to get stronger. Consequently, Snivy largely faded into the background while Pig Knight and Crocorock stole her spotlight at both the last two Unova gyms and the World Tournament Junior Cup. Between the battle with Seamus and the start of the Unova League, Snivy's sole major battling appearance took place in Beauty's Battling for Pride and Prestige. During the episode, she, Emolga, and Iris bonded over their mutual hatred of a flower garden troop that had insulted their respective appearances. Under Iris's guidance, Snivy proved both her elegance as a lady and her skill as a fighter by defeating the troop leader's Chinchino in battle. The loss was humiliating for Chinchino, as Leaf Storm had stripped her of the oil she needed to maintain her pristine fur. Subsequently, at the Unova League, Snivy battled Cameron's Riolu, starting in the episode Cameron's Secret Weapon. At the battle's start, Snivy dodged Vacuum Wave and landed Leaf Blade. In retaliation, Riolu let loose a copycat-powered Leaf Blade, knocked Snivy off balance with Vacuum Wave, blasted her with Force Bomb and tossed her with Circle Throw. Snivy fought back valiantly with Leaf Storm, Vine Whip, and another Leaf Storm, but her efforts only served to trigger Riolu's evolution into Lucario. In the following episode, a Unova League evolution, Lucario displayed its awesome power. It withstood Leaf Blade, unleashed Force Palm, grabbed Snivy's vines, and won the match with Aura Sphere. Unfortunately, Pikachu would then go on to lose to Lucario, knocking Ash out of the tournament. As an aside, I really think it should have been Snivy that had evolved mid-battle. Had she evolved into Servine and beaten Cameron, her status as Ash's strongest Unova Pokemon would have been far more believable. Additionally, the evolution would have set her up for an eventual transformation into Superior in the Decalore Island Saga. Regardless, before embarking for the Decalore Islands, Snivy trounced Jesse's Woobat in the light of Flesessi Ranch and Team Plasma in Team Plasma in the Awakening Ceremony. During the Island Saga itself, Snivy made several major appearances. In one of the most notable, during the episode The Pirates of Decalore, she and Pig Knight did their best to stop some rowdy water types from stealing food. While Pig Knight tried to empathize with the wayward Pokemon as he too had been abandoned, Snivy had little sympathy, proudly declaring that she had no patience for loser trainers like the ones that had abandoned them. To make her point, she and Pig Knight clobbered two of the pirate Pokemon in battle. She wasn't all bad, however, as she then helped rehabilitate them into being Officer Jenny's helpers. Two other notable appearances during the saga involved vanquishing a Miss Magius in the episode Mystery on a Deserted Island and feuding with Amolga in Amolga and the Shocking Recruit. During the latter episode, her false belief that Amolga had shocked Axew caused the two to quarrel. Once Snivy realized Amolga was innocent, however, the two of them teamed up against Team Rocket and finally reconciled. In my opinion, the episode's purpose was to give closure to their rivalry and finally establish them as true friends. Following that, near Saga's end, in best wishes until we meet again, Snivy popped Team Rocket's hot air balloon. Finally, in The Dream Continues, she joined her teammates in blasting off Team Rocket and bid Ash farewell as he continued to Kalos. 
rather than continue with Ash to a new region, Snivy settled in as one of the many reserves at Oak's lab. She didn't appear in XY or Sun and Moon, but made several comebacks and journeys. She first reappeared in Friends, Rivals, Lend Me Your Spirits. Throughout the episode, she greeted Ash's new Pokémon and watched as they trained for the Masters 8. At the tournament itself, Snivy cheered for Ash, encouraged Pikachu during his vision quest, and celebrated Ash's victory. After Ash became world champion, Snivy officially rejoined his team as a rotating reserve. While Snivy's reappearance in the To Be a Pokémon Master episode The Same Moon Now and Forever was quite short, it was notable as she used Leaf Storm to free Pikachu from Team Rocket's net. Although Snivy's freeing a Pikachu led the electric mouse to get lost in the forest, the appearance harkened back to her days as a utility powerhouse extraordinaire. As that concludes Snivy's history to date, let's get to her battle record. Snivy beat 12 Pokémon, with the most notable being Trip Servine, George's Ponyard, and Clay's Palpitoad. She lost to 8 Pokémon, with the toughest being Trip Servine, Thunderous, and Cameron's Lucario. Move-wise, Snivy used Attract, Leaf Blade, Leaf Storm, and Vine Whip. Honestly, it feels like the writers only told half of Snivy's story. Although she was initially one of the strongest regional starters Ash had ever captured, she never started a gym, headlined a league battle, or explained why she didn't evolve. Had Trip Superior not been Pikachu's rival, he could have been the perfect boss for Snivy to prove herself just as powerful as Bulbasaur. While Snivy never reached her full potential as an ace, I think she had a great personality. Her arrogance, natural flair, and rivalry with Amolga all made her feel entirely different from Ash's other grass types. If she were to ever evolve, get more focus, and finally learn another move, I think she would make for a fitting rival to powerhouses like Sceptile. On that note, class is adjourned. My name again is Professor Silver. Until next time, catch you later.